So we're doing a Sacramento to LA road trip and the first stop is the first supercharger down on Highway 5 at Mantica. So the 3.5 miles so far and well, the supercharger is in another 36 miles. We'll see you there. So we're approaching Manteca, uh, we have 6.8 miles left, we're going down 99, going on highway 120 and then getting to the supercharger. We, it was showing that we would have 61% battery left from Sacramento to Manteca, now it's showing we're gonna have 62% because we were driving on autopilot, I mean not autopilot, I don't have autopilot, but we're driving on cruise control. So driving pretty economically, average of 300-ish, 315 uh, watt hours per mile. So as soon as we get to Manteca, we'll get back to you. So we're approaching the 8 stall supercharger at Manteca. No clue what's out here and how long we'll have to stop. As soon as we stop, we'll do a directions to LA to show because it analyzes how, how long you have to stop here, what the next stop should be. We we're thinking of stopping at every single supercharger so that we'll see all the options uh, along the way. So we're almost approaching. This one. I'm now turn this. left onto Grove Avenue. Let's go through the roundabout, and it should be on the other side of the roundabout. In 0.1 miles, take the second exit from the roundabout onto Grove Avenue. Then you will reach your destination. In I hope at, exit at least number, one of the eight would be available because we have only 62 percent left. Take the second exit from the roundabout onto Grove Avenue. Uh, we're hoping to get up to 90 percent. Right, right after 90% we'll head to, I believe, Kettleman City because Kettleman City has 40 stalls and it has a lounge, it's a brand new supercharging station and it's uh, one of the two biggest ones in the entire United States. So here is the Mantica one and we have plenty of chargers available. So quick tip. Hopefully it's not gonna work against me, but the superchargers are numbered 1A, 1B, 2A, 2B. So I'm gonna try to find 2A. 2B is free, so 2A. So I get the maximum uh, capacity for the charge. If the B is uh, uh, occupied by another vehicle, A doesn't give you as much power. And so we're gonna go on to an A, so in case a B comes about, they're gonna get the remaining of the power. So we're right here, there are one, two, three Model S's charging. And it is 7.37 a.m. So let's take a look how long we have to charge here. Hilton. Glendale. So it's going to show all the superchargers along the way. Okay, it's routing through Highway 5, I-5. It's telling us to charge at Bakersfield for about 50 minutes and then we'll reach to Gleno at, to, at Glendale with 16% charge left. 
this is tricky because right before going into the mountains we're gonna need a lot of power to go up the hills and there is a supercharger somewhere in here so we'll stop there because up the mountains this 16% remaining is gonna be consumed going up the hills I'm pretty sure this takes it into consideration but we don't want to risk it so what we're going to do uh, instead of charging there we'll charge at we're not gonna charge here probably this has plenty of is this the Calvin City? no it's not so we're not gonna charge here we're gonna charge at Calvin City instead which is further down the road here we're gonna charge here at Calvin City this is the mega supercharger with 40 stalls so we'll charge here once and then we'll top off right before the mountain somewhere in here and then we'll head out because we don't want to risk the 16% reaching LA because those 16% are going to be consumed going up the hill in the mountains so stay in touch we'll see you soon so we're still in Manteca it is uh, 7.45 we're here at the Manteca outlets or a mall type of place there's a movie theater here, there's Banana Republic, there's a guest store over there, there's a me Tata's Mexican Grill and Cantina, Pete's Restaurant. Spots of sushi, if somebody is down for a sushi. So there are a lot of ways to kill time and there's some kind of an open market thing going on. So, should be able to spend an hour in here. The charger was telling us to get to 100% we would need an hour. But we're gonna just top off uh, so that there is enough charge to drive normally to Kettleman City. So instead of spending an hour, we're probably gonna spend another 15-20 minutes in here. We just got here. So after 20 minutes, we'll get back to you. We'll head out towards Kettleman City. So now we're back, it's 8, 10. I think we have over 90% charge now. We had 60% 20 minutes ago. So they're building a lot more charging stations. Looks like one, two, three, four, five, another five there, 10, I don't know, six, 12. They, they have another 12 coming up and they hit eight. Right. So there's gonna be a total of 20 charging stations in here in this. Uh, outlet type of shopping center because I was told it's not technically an outlet. So, eighteen miles and it says we have 30 minutes left until we reach 100%. But we're not going to do 100% because it doesn't make sense to spend 30 minutes for that 10% increment we might as well chop up somewhere else and get that 10% in 2-3 minutes instead of spending 30 minutes on that. So we're gonna head out and the next stop is gonna be Kettleman City. Let's get in. So let's take a look at the next one so see oh here you go oh wow wow okay this is the one we're gonna go to we have 40 charging stations and there are only two occupied. So let's see how long this is. 142 miles and we have 218 miles of range. 18 battery. Uh, uh, the range here is showing only uh, 217. So 218 miles in the battery it's telling us in this driving habit we're gonna get there in 217 we're gonna get 217 miles out of it 
and this is only 142 knots. So even if we go just a few miles above the speed limit, on a cruise control we're gonna be more than okay. So let's hit navigate, buckle up and take off. So this is telling us by the time we get there, uh, we're, we're gonna have 16% left by the time we get to Kettleman City. Uh, I'm comfortable with it, I don't know how comfortable my friend is. If we don't get enough range in there, we'll charge at this station before Kettleman City. We're hoping to get no other to make no other stops until Kettleman City. But if we need to, we'll stop here. We can, could stop technically here. But there's no so, see you in. It's telling us it is going to take two hours and 21 minutes until Kelman City, 157 miles. So, see you in two hours and 25, 21 minutes. Now we're almost reaching the Kelman City. Uh, we're a mile away from the exit. Right here, the charge, supercharger is right over there. Uh, when we took off, we had 18% remaining from Manteca to all the way to Kelman City. Uh, after going up and down a couple of hills, it's showing we have 14% remaining. In the battery, we have 36 miles. In the range, because we've been driving economically on cruise control at the speed limit, plus and minus, minus two. range than what's in the battery so which is really good so we're right about there and we'll charge here and go all the way up to 90% we'll go up to 90% because from 90 to 100% it requires another uh, 30 minutes which is not worth it or well, when your battery is low that 10% can be charged in a few minutes. There's no point in spending 30 minutes for that same uh, 24 mile range when you can just top it off somewhere else. The plan is to charge right before the mountains. There's another supercharger right before the mountains. When we get there, we'll see how, long that, how far that is. And we'll top it off up to 90% again. And from there, we'll be good all the way to LA, Glendale in particular. This is gonna be huge. This is the one of the two biggest superchargers in the United States. And it's also one of the two that has a lounge. It should be visible from somewhere around here. So we have 35 miles in range showing at the battery. We have projected range of 38, so but I don't care about that because we're gonna be charging it up from 35 miles all the way up to probably about 200 miles. And I've seen some reviews. I've seen some reviews that where you need to enter a passcode for the supercharger. I mean, for the lounge. Yeah, there's a keypad, keypad right over there at the lounge door. 
So I believe my car is gonna give me that passcode. Driving to a supercharger, ping on touch screen map. Oh wow, take take a look at this. 33388 power drive. Oh, that's probably the address. Let's go closer to the closer ones. Oh my god, there's so many of those. Uh, and let's park under the shade. Actually, B A B A. Let's park in A just in case. Fifteen A. Okay. Oh, should be good. In the fuel or fuel. Okay, good. Okay. It was talking about touching the screen, entering the pin on the touch screen. I have no clue what it was talking about. Maybe that 33388 was the pink code, who knows? So, we'll tr there are some people over there, we'll try to go inside, and, or there are some people outside actually, we'll ask them. So we're gonna put it in charge up to, we'll put 100%, but we'll go up to 90%. So, see you soon. So, figured out how to get the um, pin number. So we just put it in charge, we had 30 some miles a couple of minutes ago and it's already at 52 miles. So it is 10.30. So the way to get the information how to get into that lounge, uh, you would need to go into the supercharger map. Like right here, click on this, tap on that, go to the supercharger you're at, and then it would give you the information regarding the specific supercharger. It did it for me a second ago. Here we go. Okay, here in this area, it's gonna show 0710 pound for lounge and the restroom, I believe. And, and yeah, and I believe it changes every day. So let's plan the next step. So if I put in Hilton, Glendale, let's see what Tesla recommends. Tesla's recommendation is, do, 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 is still working. Tesla's recommendation is estimated charge time of one hour. to make it even actually even with that charge but right in this area once we get to the mountains most of our battery is gonna be drained going up the hill so let's see if we have superchargers on the way here's the last one we have to make a stop right here you just have to. So that's the letter G. Uh, and it is showing. We can charge here for 25 minutes and get there to that supercharger with 17% range. So what we're going to do instead, we're going to charge up to 90% uh, probably spend about 40 minutes at this lounge and get there with more with more battery and top it up there and get all the way to Glendale with still decent range left. So their recommendation is to stay here for 25 minutes. We're gonna actually stay here for about 40 minutes until we reach 80 or 90%. Then we'll, we'll move fall forward to the next stop, which is Tejon Ranch. Tejon Ranch. 
right before the mountains. And as you saw, that is a busy spot and doesn't have many charging stations. So we we'll hope we'll be able to make it. See you soon. Here's the restroom for the Tesla supercharger. That's pretty clean and neat. And we require a passcode to be entered. And a nice Dyson head dryer. So, I'm very friendly. I don't need to push it to exit, so. But you do need to type in the passcode to get in. Let's make sure it's closed. Now it's locked. Okay, we're charging. There are a couple more Teslas. Oh, no. There's one, there are two, three. Another one just put it for three. Other cars are then us charging at this lounge. So, we're going to the lounge. Let's go. Oh, 
Ofile ste, sarele s-a ten, sarunțe zdarel Te gănățel mi te crache zvarel Oves, oves, du, a saint Oves, oves, du, u vonces Oves, oves, du, a saint Inces, du, u zum, forces Oves, oves, du, a saint Ies moș mechin, șem, a si Oves, oves, du, a saint Ce-s că gătei, me gri, a si, no Oves, oves, du, a saint Oves, oves, du, u vonces Oves, oves, du, a saint Inces, du, u zum, forces Oves, oves, du, a saint Ies moș mechin, șem, a si Oves, oves, du, a saint Ce-s că gătei, me gri, a si, no Oves, du, oves, du So we just charged up, uh, we're at, we are at 90% actually, right, a little bit above 90%. Um, we have 221 miles left, and we just stopped by Carl's Jr., had something to eat, had some tea and coffee, in a nice Model S cup, to sleep. And the next leg is gonna take us... Uh, let's see, it's going to take us 91 miles, an hour and 21 minutes. So we came in at about uh, 10.36, so it is 11.20, so we spent 50 minutes to have, an, have something to eat, to shoot the video, and to get a drink, so... 15 minutes we charged up from about 16% to now we're at 91-92%. So the next leg is going to take us an hour, uh, an hour and 20 minutes and we'll charge up to 90% again from from 48 to 90. That shouldn't take us long, should take us another 20 minutes. So then we'll total it, up, total it up. So, so far we have charged for 20 minutes at Mantica, uh, 15 minutes here, because technically here we didn't have to stop, stay for that long. But 50 minutes gives us enough range to here. We'll have 48 miles. We'll charge for another 10, 15 minutes in here. And then we'll take off and go all the way to LA. This would be enough for LA, but I don't want to risk it up the mountains. I want to have 80 to 90% battery by the time I reach to the mountains, so we'll see you shortly. On to so we're reaching this Tejon Ranch supercharger. Here at the navigation you can see where it's at, it's like really close. Uh, but here on the map my cell signal, the LTE signal is not working right. Now turn right onto so Dennis the navigation is working right. through Tom Tom I believe that the Google Maps is not pulling because of the cell signal. The supercharger should be somewhere down the street. There's Chipotle in here, there is Minimart, Wendy's, Starbucks. Starbucks is right here on the right. So I guess we could come to Starbucks, hang out for 15 minutes, then take the last leg of the trip. Almost got into an accident. Here they are on the right. Your destination, Firehouse Subs, is right next to it. So, so it looks like we have to back into the charging stations. And there is one available, no, there are two. So let's see which one is an A, and let's charge at the A. A is occupied. And this is occupied. I guess we'll go and we'll have to go into a game. More supercharges opening early 2018. Wow, that's a nice one because actually they only have a few in here, and this is a major, major link from here to LA. Because you want it or not, you will have to charge in here. Because going up the hill, there's no way you can make that trip without having some charging here. So let's take a look. Let's take a look at the final leg of our trip. Glendale. From here to Glendale, we technically would have 
11% left by the time we reached the Burbank supercharger, even with the charge we had. But here it's saying charge for five minutes, then for 10 minutes at Burbank, and then you'll reach the hotel with 30% charge. So we're gonna charge for 15, 20 minutes in here instead, and reach there with more than 29%, half a charge probably. So I guess that's this leg of the trip. It is 12.37 p.m. We have 106 miles and we'll get back to you as soon as we get back into the car after the charge. So it was 12.36 we started and it's 104 now. We have 198 miles of charge heading out. By the time we reach to Glendale we'll have um, 47% of battery left and we don't need to make any more stops unless can you buckle up uh, unless uh, the uh, do, 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 do. unless the battery gets drained going up the hill so looks like it is 105 so just to sum up, as a summary, we have stopped for 20 minutes at, from Sacramento, from actually Rancho Cordova, we stopped for 20 minutes at Manteca, we stopped for uh, 50, 45 minutes actually, not 50, 45 minutes at, uh, at Kettleman's Ranch, that's total of... 45 and 20 an hour and five minutes and we stopped for another technically 30 minutes 25 to 30 minutes so an hour and 35 minutes and that's enough charge to get us to Glendale so we'll see how it goes by the time we reach to the ho we, we reach the hotel uh, we're supposed to have 49% left which will be more than enough to run us through the day and then charge it up towards the evening or something like that so we'll get back to you as soon as we go, get to LA in the meantime stay tuned and as soon as we reach here we'll join you So now we're heading back from LA back to Sacramento. By the time we got to LA, we had 49% battery left. So it was decent. Uh, so now we're going back to Sacramento. We're gonna see the closest supercharger right past the mountains. We're not gonna stop at Burbank. We have 187 miles left. We're going to see how long it can take us through the mountains which are here right at Cajon Ranch 67.5 miles to here and getting there will take it will take us calculating the percentage we'll have 41% le battery left by the time we get there so we're not gonna stop anywhere else we'll, by the time we get there we'll see how much of the 41% will actually have remaining because we'll be going up the hill and then going down the hill generating some energy back so we're not gonna do a round trip so we don't care about this percent so then from there we're gonna stop at Kelman's Ranch and we'll see you shortly. We'll get back to you once we get to Tejon Ranch. So we're reaching the Tejon Ranch supercharger. It is 156 and the signal is very spotty in here. Um, 
before we, we took off, it was showing we would have 41% by the time we got here. We are driving so economically, uh, so we had 42% charge left. Up the mountains, it was showing we had actually 96 miles of charge left. And right now it is showing we have 101 miles remaining. So, we actually regenerated some energy by the time we got down the hill. Uh, from here, I wish there was signal, so I could see where's the where's the new other supercharger. Speaker one. I see one. So we're gonna get go here next. Uh, uh, there's one spot remaining, so I think there's one on Facebook. And if we don't charge in here, we're gonna have only 3% remaining. If we do charge here, we will have plenty remaining. So we're the plan is to, uh, to B. Is that the name or B? I, I want to charge in A. 3B doesn't matter. Usually the preference is to charge an A spot, but if it's not available, Okay, we're at the supercharger here. It is 1.58, so it's 2 o'clock. We're gonna put it on charge for probably 20 minutes. And right after, we'll take off and go to Cattleman City. We have to get enough charge in here, at least at another 40%. We are at, actually, let's take a look how much we're at. We are at 40%. So if we add another 40%, we'll be at 80. Let's do 80, 85%, and then we'll get back to you and take off head for the Kelman, Kelman's Ranch, which is gonna be the longer stop. We're just done from Tahon Ranch. Uh, we have about 80% battery. We spent about 20 minutes, went to Starbucks and back, pretty much didn't waste another second after that. Um, by the time we reach Kelman City, we're gonna have 41% and we'll charge over there. It is 2.27 and we'll see you in an hour and 22 minutes after 91 miles. 91 miles. So we're right over there, supercharging, and we're right here. And there are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, the dozen Teslas at the Cattleman's Ranch. That's a lot for, for a weekend, <laughs> but it's also holiday weekend. There are plenty of places to go. Uh, it's outside there's a gap. There's a body shop looks like. There are a couple of restaurants down there, a lot more, a lot more restaurants further down that way. So we're just gonna hang out in here for a while. And head on back. So we are here at the Calvin's Ranch Supercharger. We have charged up to 160 miles now and the next supercharger is going to be at Harris Ranch 24 miles away we're gonna skip that the further down we have Gustin California 97.2 miles we're gonna stop here um, so from Kelvin City to Sacramento it's 224 miles to our place in Rancho so 224 miles, if we get here, it's another 120 some miles. Uh, if we charge here up to, let's say 180%, which is 196 miles, we'll be able to skip Manteca. Manteca is right over here. Manteca is 142 miles away. So we'll skip Manteca and we'll just go directly from Gustine, California, all the way to Rancho Cordova, California, or Sacramento. We're gonna skip this one too, because there's no point in stopping in another 20 miles. So the Calvo City is the big one. 
and it's charging decently fast. Let me show you with the charger. We're getting 286 miles for every hour. So 60 kilowatts. Sorry, up 200 percent. We have uh, 50 minutes remaining. We're gonna get probably up to 80 percent. Because all we need is 97 more miles, right? So if we do 80 percent, it's another 20 minutes. So we'll, I'm pretty sure. This will charge in 10-15 minutes. So we just ate and we're going to take off, go all the way to Gustin in another 97 slash miles from here and head home from there. Traffic is horrible, so let's navigate here. Traffic is horrible today. We lost now a lot more miles. We could even take off right now. We still have 26 miles left. But what we did, we getting to Kelmans, we used back roads. We used this 33rd freeway and we went all the way here and came to Kelmans. Because five was back to back. And it looks like it's gonna be even worse getting cold over here. Yeah. So uh, the reason we burned a lot more energy, I wanted to say burnt gas, but we, we consumed a lot more energy is because there were some very slow cars on two lane highways where we had to pass them. So every time you pass at a higher speed than uh, you're doing regularly, any, anytime you accelerate pretty fast, it consumes a lot of energy. So it's not going to happen on 5 because we're going to be stuck in back to back tra in bumper to bumper traffic. So it is 4.55, we'll take off at 5.10ish, we're probably going to get home by 11 or 12 considering the traffic. So I'll get back to you shortly as soon as we get to Dustin, we've well, never seen that supercharger yet. So. See how that one looks. So it is 514. We charged up at 85 ish percent. We have 207 miles to go. Our next leg is 113 miles away. It's technically 97 miles away, but the reason it is now, turn 113 is because we're trying, to, we're trying to avoid all this traffic. Up to the next supercharger, actually. Okay, just changed. Uh, just changed on us. It's now kind of leading us through I-5. I guess we will take I-5. Oh, there you go. Okay, we'll go as Google says, and we'll avoid the traffic. Basically, the difference is by the time we're done, we will either have. 36 percent left or 40 plus percent right? I'd rather have 36 percent left and stay without traffic so uh, as soon as we get to the next life to Gustin California we'll get back to so we got to Fresno supercharger don't ask why so we're trying to get off of uh, Calvin's Ranch here Calvin City and we noticed that five is backed up even right now as you can see five is all the way back up all the way up here until you pretty much hit the divider, divider between San Francisco and Sacramento. So to avoid sitting in traffic for three four hours what we decided to do is to take uh, take 41 so we got stuck at a stoplight that was broken right out of the charging station of the trip supercharger so but we got off here off north on 41 we just reached the uh, 6:30 p.m we reached the fresno supercharger okay it's now saying fresno's 99 is backed up as well to go 
around it, which was no good. But follow the advice. But anyway, we're at the Fresno Supercharger. We just plugged it in. Oh, we had not a lot of miles left. And in five minutes, we already have 143 miles. We'll leave it for another 10 minutes. So we can continue your trip after 10 minutes. So we'll leave it for another 10 minutes. And then we'll head on to. Take a supercharger, which is 100 miles away, and to our home, it's another 60 miles from here. So we'll we'll charge for another 10 minutes. If we take a have enough juice, and we'll head out to Sacramento. So this has been an interesting trip. So overall, today, just to sum it up, we have spent. Uh, Right off of, uh, right below the mountain, the so the ranch, Tijon Ranch, or whatever it was called. We spent about 20 minutes, got to Starbucks and back, and pretty much it was ready to go. And then uh, Kalman City, we spent another 20 minutes. I would say 15, 20 minutes. And now we are here. And here we're gonna spend about 10 to 15 minutes head to Antica. So that's 20, 40, 55. And then overall, we'll spend a little bit less in, at superchargers here than on the way to LA. And the reason is, is because to LA we charged the 80 to 90 and above 90 percent, so we had enough juice. At the, at the higher percentages, right from here to here, it takes about 15 minutes from here to here it takes another 30 minutes so you're better off charging from wherever you are up to 80 and that's the quickest charge you can do it in 15 20 minutes and then go to the next supercharger and charge for another 10 15 minutes or top it up instead of wasting 15 minutes of your time in here for charging only 10 percent or 30 percent of your time i mean 30 minutes of your time in here to charge only 10% from 90 to 100. So as soon as we're done, uh, we'll head out to Mantica. We could even go right now, we would have 20% to get there. But we'll wait for another five minutes and we'll be with you shortly. It is 8.27 p.m. We just got to Mantica Supercharger. We are charging at an A slot and a charging spot. And it is charging at 234 miles per hour. I'm showing we have 1 hour and 20 minutes for 100% charge. Actually, we a lot less. It's going to take only 15 minutes. We'll probably charge for 20 minutes and take off. And uh, for the next leg of the trip, that's what we've been driving so far. Uh, trip B, I had less than 1,000 miles and 900 some miles. So right now I have 833. The toll trip was about uh, a little bit over 800 miles. Um, Rancho Cordova, California. Will charge time of 20 minutes and we'll have negative 4% so technically we need 4% to get to Rancho but uh, to Sacramento and Rancho is a little bit further it's about 7 miles further from Sacramento but instead of um, charging the negative 4 now negative 3% it's recommending to stay for 20 minutes to charge up so we have some reserve by the time we get there so I guess this will conclude our video. It is 8.29 p.m. By the time we get to Rancho, it will be 9.30ish, 9.40. And that will conclude our trip. So, 
thanks for watching if you have any questions write down in the comments section i'd be happy to respond thank you bye, -bye.